Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. Today we're gonna to talk about the top 10 essential oils from doTERRA. So Michaela's going to be hopping on with me and talking a little bit about it. She, I actually just got my home essentials kit last week. So last week in our Facebook Live, we did an unpacking of my box. So I've been having fun over the past week playing with my essential oils, putting them in my diffuser um, for different reasons, making some blends. My kids are actually homesick today and using those to help boost my immune system and hopefully get them um, on the mend faster than usual. So it's been really fun, but Michaela has had a little bit more experience with it. So um, I'm gonna see if I can find her. Um, so, so she will do a much better job than I as far as explaining it. But while I wait for her, I'll tell you some of the things that I have used them for so far. So I've used them for um, sleep, so adding them into my diffuser in the evenings. And I have diffusers in all of the rooms, uh, all of my room and my kids' rooms. Um, I'm using them for my our immune system, so making blends and making roller balls and putting them on our backs and our feet and um, helping another blend that I made for my daughter was for her tummy. And another one that I've made is for some recurrent inflammation in my body. So my back and my neck, and I've been using the roller balls for that. So anyway, Michaela's here. So she can talk a little bit more detail about the top 10 oils, which do come with the home kit from doTERRA. Right. So yes, and I just want to note that Maya just got her oils about a, two weeks ago, a week or, or so ago, and um, she's already incorporated them into her life um, so easily. And, you know, you don't need to know all this information. You just have to get these into your home, um, you know, start using the basic ones, as I'm going to mention, um, and you're naturally going to see so many different benefits um, from them, and you'll learn as you go. So a little about my um, backstory, I have, I'm Michaela, and I have been using essential oils for about three to four years. I've been introduced um, to them through a friend, and I literally, I fell in love with them. I used to do a lot of traveling, and I used peppermint to ease um, like any stomach pains. Um, I used to travel a lot to Asia, and so I never got sick. Um, so um, just seeing the benefits of just one you know, essential oil bottle that, that gave me. Um, I was definitely intrigued and I started studying it. So um, fast forward to now, I have incorporated essential oils pretty much into my daily routine. I use them all different ones throughout the day. Um, I would say about like 20 times, like I wake up, I have my rituals with certain ones I, you know, I ingest, I put under my tongue for um, cellular uh, balance and, and hormonal balance and also it helps with moods. Um, there's uh, rollers that I have for my daughter that she uses day and night. There are certain ones I use to pick myself up so I don't have that second cup of coffee during the day. Um, so we're just kind of going to uh, dive into, um, uh, into the oils. But I want to mention the oils that I'm uh, talking about are just for doTERRA only. Um, you cannot go to a Whole Foods or a health food store or Amazon and order essential oils online, let's say lemon or peppermint or whichever one I can, I will tell you that you can ingest because those have synthetic, um, you know, chemicals in it and they're diluted with other oils. And for, for oils to be labeled certified pure essential oils, they just need 5% of the actual real deal in there. And you still don't know where you're getting that sourced from. So, you know, so I think it's a, it's a big waste of money. Um, you're not getting any health benefits from them. So like I said, anything I mentioned, I am just strictly talking about doTERRA oils. Okay. So let's dive in. Um, I wanted to cover the top 10 oils that you get in your home essential kit. This is the essential, this is the kit that I began with. This is the kit that Maya begins with. And all my friends that enroll with me or when I do classes, it is the, the best deal you can get um, in a kit. Um, 
you get the top 10 oils in 15 ml. Um, they have other kits which come in 5 ml, so they're a lot smaller. Um, so you can do that when you get started. And I can, underneath, um, underneath this post, I'm going to post the different, different ones so you, you, you have a visual of what that is. So let's dive in. Um, I'm going to try to spend about a minute each on each oil. Um, so let's, let's get started. That peppermint, right? Peppermint is the one that was my gateway on uh, two essential oils and how I got started. Um, when you open a bottle of peppermint, um, and many people that I share this bottle with, it's, it's an experience. I always have people place a, like a half a drop into their palms, rub their hands and cup their, um, cup their hands over their nose. I call this like the portable diffuser um, because we'll go over the way, dif different uses that you can use these oils. And one of them is aromatically, right? So you're, you're inhaling the, the oils and your brain is, you know, you're, you're, a lot, you're able to change your emotions and your brain chemistry through smell. And, um, and especially when they're so pure and you can ingest them, um, there's so many amazing, beautiful benefits to them. So peppermint is all things cooling. Um, so if you, let's say you have a child and they're um, coming down with a fever, um, I actually have little roller balls. So I make, um, I make small roller balls for, uh, for my daughter. So she has her personal little rollers um, because I won't put, they're so potent, they're so pure and, and strong that I wouldn't put this directly onto her skin. I want it to be diluted with um, fractionated coconut oil. Um, so there are certain ratios that go into um, different ages. So we can dive into that if you have any questions about that into our uh, weekly Facebook lives in here. So um, the peppermint, um, if she's coming down with a fever, I run it up and down her spine every 15 minutes to allow her body to cool off and to be more comfortable. Um, peppermint is amazing if you get car sick. You could simply just open up a bottle of peppermint keep it under your nose and just breathe in. You don't even have to apply it topically. Um, if you get head tension, um, this is one of the best uh, tools uh, to use. So you'll just take a drop, you know, for adults, you take a drop, you place it under um, on your temples, behind your neck, on top of your ears over here. And this is magical for any head tension that you get. If you, you know, if it's three o'clock and you're in a funk and you're looking for that extra cup of coffee, um, this is amazing. I actually put uh, a drop underneath my tongue to help uh, pick me up. Um, and this also helps with digestion as well. So you're getting a lot of other benefits um, when you're doing these things. So I do, I do that about twice a day. I, I feel like I always need a little pick me up. So this really awakens my senses um, and it also makes me feel really clean. So like, I don't even chew gum. I just will pop this little yeah. guy in there. Um, I've also, so can... I've also heard that peppermint's really good for, um, for bugs, like a bug repellent. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you could actually put this in a mist, um, and you can spray around, spray around, you know, if you're going camping or if you're outside and there's bugs. Um, I know my friend used peppermint, um, she had a little mice issue and peppermint is, is what, like when you put it around, like some, you know, your household, it repels certain, you know, things like that. Um, so you I remember really... doing that. With my... Yeah. Remember yeah. That. Yeah. I had a mouse, mouse problem in my car and I put, I put, um, peppermint on cotton balls in my car. Mm -hmm. Cause those little can get in there. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. No, it happens. It happens natural tools. Um, and what happens is once you start learning all the different ways to use them, you'll end up saving so much money because now you're not having to go run out and get Tylenol for your child or for yourself or Advil for your headache um, or, you know, whatever else, you know, is going on. You're actually benefiting on a cellular level using these oils and, you know, they have many different uses for them. So, um, Okay, so that is peppermint. Um, also, I wanted to mention a cool little uh, fun fact is one drop of peppermint oil is 28 cups of peppermint tea. Now, this is just for doTERRA because um, I'll, tell, I'll, I'll go into, I'll, I'll tell you how much, um, you, you need a lot of peppermint 
to make, you know, to, to, to extract and distill these, these oils. Um, so that's why they are so potent. Okay, so now we have lemon. Lemon is all things cleansing, right? So lemon has one of the most versatile uses as well. Um, I put lemon, I put two, about two drops of lemon water into um, my water bottle. And I drink about two to three of these a day. So I'm constantly detoxing my system, right? And it also makes the water taste really, really good. Um, there's other, other citrus oils that I put in as well, um, just to change up the flavor. Um, but one of my favorite things when I go out is to get a bottle of Pellegrino um, because I don't drink. I get a bottle of Pellegrino and I'll pop in, um, you know, like mandarin or wild orange or even lemon into the water. And it is delicious. It's so good. Anyway, so when you use the lemon oil, you always want to use, you don't want to use any plastic. So you want to do glass or stainless steel. Um, so there's obviously so much research how good lemon is for you, especially in the morning with warm water and lemon to detox. And one bottle of lemon oil from doTERRA is 50 organic lemons from, you know, yeah, it's, you know, so even cost, it's, it is so cost effective and you're getting the same benefits, if not better, um, of, with using these and they're super practical. So lemon is one of those oils that I have all throughout my house. It's only about, I guess like $10 wholesale. Um, but, uh, because I, I'll go into, I, I make my own cleaning supplies with it now. Um, but I have it all throughout the house. I have it by my, you know, where my water filter is. So I could just pop the water in. I don't have to like go look through my purse. Um, I have one in my, um, my skincare cabinet because it's super brightening for your face. So it's um, a lot of vitamin C. Um, you can use lemon to clean your whole house. So I started making my own like Windex, um, one part vinegar, one white vinegar, one part water. And I do about eight drops of lemon. Um, and I also use On Guard, which is another main oil in the, in, that you will get in the kit. Um, and it gives no streaks. I actually feel really good when I clean the house because I don't feel like I have to go like this, you know, and I have a two-year-old who, you know, who touches everything, who puts everything in her mouth. So I feel really confident and comfortable um, using these cleaning supplies um, because I know they're not harm harmful. Um, also, lemon is a really good degreaser. The other uh, couple weeks ago, I had some work done on my car and the mechanic left my door seat, um, I mean, the door handle, like literally black um, and greasy and disgusting. And there was like some other spots. All I really did was take some baking soda, some lemon, like two drops of lemon, and I let it soak. I wiped it off. I kid you not. It was like, it was like a miracle. It, it like literally came off. So lemon is like excellent for cleaning. Again, even detoxing from the inside, right? For your body. Um, and it also neutralizes odors. So if you're cooking something and it's like overpowering your house, you could always pop a few drops in your diffuser and that will go into the air and clean out the odor. So now we have lavender. So lavender is an oil, all things calming. So it's great for, um, it's great for babies. Babies need to be calmed a lot, right? So I but use this for better. Step for a minute. I yeah, no problem. Other. Okay, I'll be back. Awesome. So, uh, so lavender is, um, is one I also have in a roller for my daughter. And um, I use this every single evening on the bottom of her feet and up and down her spine. And since whenever she's teething, it helps with teething. So I just roll it on her jaw. I rub it in and it helps with um, soothing her pain with teething. Um, so also anybody that has trouble sleeping and sleeping is huge in, you know, having enough energy throughout the day. Um, so to get the best sleep possible is essential and lavender helps with that. So for adults, I, I usually just put a drop on the bottom of my feet. Um, and I always told, put it in my hands and I smell it and it's super relaxing. And I also diffuse it in, uh, two of the rooms in the house. Um, la lavender is also really good for burns. So if you ever get a burn, you could directly put the lavender on top of it 
and it, uh, it helps to soothe it. And it also helps to reduce any anxious feelings. So um, lately, I feel like everybody that I talk to has some, some sort of anxiety about things. Um, and that's a whole nother topic. It's, you know, things that we consume, it's the thoughts, it's the, you know, like it's, it's a lot of factors, but lavender really helps to calm. Um, and you could actually take lavender from doTERRA internally. So I did a presentation, um, I hosted a class and just to ease my feelings, I put a drop underneath my tongue and was feeling really good. Um, so the fourth oil, we have Melaleuca, which is um, all things skin. So Melaleuca is also known as tea tree oil. And um, I have mine, sorry, I have my oils all throughout the house. I think I'm gonna show you how these all look. Okay, so this one is the Melaleuca. Um, this is, like I said, all things skin. So if you have um, problems with breakouts, or any skin irritations, um, this one is amazing. Um, my daughter has eczema, and this, this oil is one of the three that I put in in her blend. So I put in lavender, which is soothing, and it's also great for skin. Um, I put the tea tree, and I put frankincense in a roller with diluted, and I put that on her, you know, whenever she gets eczema. And it helps to soothe so she doesn't itch and she doesn't get irritable. And it really helps. Um, this is also excellent for diaper rash. So you could take a spray bottle um, with uh, lavender and again, frankincense and um, melaleuca, a little bit of um, fractionated coconut oil and the rest water. You shake it up and it's super soothing, um, you know, uh, super natural for the kids. Um, and it smells great. Um, also, melaleuca you can use for guys like athlete's foot or any achiness. Um, it's also an astringent, so you could use this for your or oral health. You could pop it in um, um, after you brush your teeth. You could swish it around with one drop after brushing, so it also helps with, um, with your oral health. Um, and you also can clean surfaces in it. So I put it, this in some of my cleaning products. I love the way it smells. It smells super fresh. Um, and it's also a spot treatment. So if you feel like you're having a pimple coming in, um, you could just directly apply the oil onto your face. This one is awesome for skin. Um, we have frankincense, which is my number one. It's my favorite. It's my jam. Um, looks like this. So a bottle of frankincense retails at about $110 um, when you buy um, this pure essential oil. Um, when you buy this in a kit, the kit is $275 and this is a hundred dollars and you're getting nine other oils plus a diffuser. So that is why I always recommend a home essentials kit because you're getting such value. So frankincense is like when in doubt, you, I always say when in doubt, you turn to Frank. <laughs> um, Frank use morning and night for myself. Um, it's part of my daily routine. I put a drop underneath my tongue um, morning and night, and it helps with emotional balance. Also, it helps, um, you know, with your cellular health. So it helps to rebuild, um, rebuild cells naturally. Um, frankincense comes from a tree. It's a, it's a tree sap. So um, it's, it's, it's an acquired taste. I personally like it cause I like different things and I know the benefits that I'm getting out of it. It almost smells like church, <laughs> but it's one of those things like you totally get used to. And, and it's also, um, I add frankincense in most of my blends because it enhances the benefits of all the other oils. So in my lavender roller that I have for my daughter, I add a couple drops of frankincense this way. Um, there are more benefits in that. Um, the properties of it are mind blowing. Um, they help to break down your cells and rebuild them properly, right? So that's, that's, that's huge. Um, and I've been using this for about, this bottle for about three weeks. I've been making blends for people. I, you know, like I said, I use it internally and I still have quite a good amount because like I said, one drop goes a really long way. Um, also helps with head tension. So I was having um, these 
eye issues uh, for the past like couple months. And I thought it was because I, I don't know what it was from, honestly. Um, I'm on the computer a lot. We create, you know, a lot of content for our, uh, our clients. Um, so I'm constantly on the computer. And I, I felt like I was getting this, like, like I had to. Like... I started to. What I started to do was um, I would tip over the bottle and I would put it on the roof of my on the roof of my mouth and I would suck. And it, what that does, it allows it to go into your system a lot quicker. And I kid you not, since I've been doing that, my eyes have been completely fine. Like I feel no pressure. I thought I was going to have to go to the doctor and I don't go to the doctor I know um and I was kind of like prolonging it I said I have to find a natural solution like I think glasses are beautiful but I really personally don't want to wear any <laughs> right so I found something that works for me right um and it also helps to balance mind and lift mood so when you look at the properties of frankincense um you could do a google search um it really helps with depression and anxiety and even if you're not suffering hardcore from depression, like who doesn't get, you know, their highs and lows. So this helps to stabilize that. Like how huge is that? Like how much money do we spend on healthcare? And it has horrible negative side effects, right? So like every ad that you see with like this over, you know, this medicine has so many bad side effects. So, and what they do is they try to mimic the, the properties that these um, these beauties have, but they can never do it without side effects, right? So mother nature knows best. Um, and it also helps to promote skeletal, skeletal and, and nervous system. So that kind of goes with the emotional balance as well. So now we have oregano. Um, oregano I have um, over here because I don't use much. And oregano is one that you will have for a long time. Um, you could also cook with this. So literally a half a drop with like, you could take a toothpick. Um, so you don't get a full drop and put it in your sauces, right? It helps, like it, it helps to boost flavors or, or salad or dressings or whatever. Um, but right, um, oregano is amazing anytime you're feeling run down. So as soon as I got my oils, I made a, a immune bomb, which is if I get sick and I've actually used this on myself last week and it worked like a charm. Um, I did like more, more, more concentrated in a roller. So I did oregano, um, frankincense, lemon, on guard, um, and something else. I will put the recipe below. Um, but oregano is um, antiviral, so you can put a dilute. No, 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 this is oregano. Right, but the other ingredient was no. Oh, it was the other ingredient in the in the bomb. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, oregano is amazing um, if you're also for pre preventative, right? So um, this is in one of the blends. Um, I have like a mix of mix of blends that I have in one that I put up and down Amia spine. This way she, you know, her immune system is protected and, um, and she doesn't get sick as much. Um, so this is a warmer oil. So you always want to make sure that you use a carrier oil. And our favorite is to use um, fractionated coconut oil um, because that helps to um, not make it so concentrated. And also a carrier oil helps to carry the oil through, um, you know, into your bloodstream because um, the, the oils are volatile. So you know, if you rub it on your hands, already some of the some of the oils are getting put in the air and you, you get to lose a lot of them. So the coconut oil actually helps to carry them. Um, and also, you know, using it with a carrier oil, you're able to use it over a larger amount of skin rather than just one drop. Um, next, we have On Guard. So this is how this guy looks like. Um, on guard is our protective blend. So it's in all of my blends, um, uh, to help with immunity. Um, 
I put this one again up and down my uh, my daughter's spine. So I have a blend of just I put all the protective ones in one and I just roll that up. Um, so you want to be able to make sure that these oils are at your fingertips and that they're easy to use. And you, you know, when you make roller balls there, you can have a lot more all throughout the house rather than just having, you know, it in your medicine cabinet and you're not really going to use it. Um, so this helps to boost and support your immune system. Um, I almost had a flu last week and by putting this on and I take this internally, um, morning and night, um, for preventative measures. Um, I actually like the way this tastes too. I just put one drop underneath my tongue. Um, but I, I put this, um, in a roller ball and I applied it to myself, um, up and down my spine and on the bottom of my feet every 15 minutes when I woke up and I thought I was going to be in bed all day and I ended up fine. Um, so super grateful for this. Um, and you could also put a few drops in the diffuser to get rid of any germs. Um, so this is amazing, especially around this time. And it smells very like seasonal, like it's kind of smells like Christmas. I really like it. Um, then we have our breathe blend, which is, um, our respiratory blend. So if you're feeling, um, again, run down, if you're, uh, congested, um, or any issues with your throat, you could just apply a little bit over your chest and on your nose and it helps to open up the airwaves. This is great for runners or anyone, you know, that's working out that's, that requires a lot of deep breathing. Um, I no. like to use snoring. What? what snoring. Snoring. Yeah. Snoring. Snoring. Right. Or like just rub it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want this by your eyes, but definitely by like the lower. Yeah. And um, and you could diffuse, like, I sometimes diffuse it with, um, citrus blends because it, it, it helps me to breathe as well. And then we have digest which is here. And this one is a digestive blend. So it helps with indigestion, gas, bloating, tummy ache. Um, you know, if your kids are having tummy issues, you can make them a roller and teach them how to use them. You know, whenever, you know, I use actually use this after every meal. Um, this you can ingest as well. Um, it almost tastes like licorice. If you don't like the flavor, you could use a veggie cap. Um, so this kind of uh, creates a barrier and you could just take it internally um, and still get the benefits um, that helps you with digestion. Um, and this is a blend. Um, this has um, anise. That's why it uh, tastes like um, licorice. Peppermint plant, ginger root, caraway seed, coriander, tarragon, and fennel. So you have all of the oils mixed together in this one. Um, this is amazing. So next one we have uh, Deep Blue, which is a soothing blend. And that bottle comes in a 5 ml because you really need just a little bit to put on. Um, but if you're having any sore muscles, or joints, or any achiness, you dilute it with fractionated coconut oil and you apply it to the area. If you have any lower back issues, you could just apply it to your lower back. Um, also, like if you're at the computer a lot and your wrist hurts, it's great to put it on your wrist or your fingers. Um, and also it's a warming oil, so you make sure that you are dried off when you use it um, because the water actually accentuates the sensation of it. So you want to make sure that you're, you're completely dry. Um, I tend to have somewhat of jaw, um, like I clench my jaw sometimes. So I could sometimes put a drop around here just to um, relax the muscles right there. Yeah, it also is supposed to help with growing pains for little, little ones that are having growing pains. Yes, it's a very, it's a very good oil for soothing. Um, and so, yeah, those are the top 10 that I, uh, that you will get in your home diffu um, diffuser kit. You get a diffuser, but in your home essentials kit. And I will be going on live here um, weekly to do little mini classes on how you can revamp your home with it, on how to actually make the roller balls, um, um, you know, my, maybe my daily routine or whatever you guys want to know about. Um, more than happy to hop on and answer any of your questions because um, my mission and our mission is to have you experience um, 
and, and to be fully in control of your health, right? And to teach your kids on how to feel empowered on how they can, um, you know, deal with their emotions, deal, deal with their pains. Um, there's also, there's always a natural solution um, to things that were, that, that are happening that, you know, in our life. Like, for example, I have a, a cheer blend that I made. Um, and it's any time that I want to feel lifted. It's a citrus blend. Um, but also what this does, it, it, it allows you to check in with yourself and say, hmm, how do I want to feel, you know? Um, and then also using the benefits of the oils, the scent, and really just connecting that to yourself. Um, and it, they really do work, you know, you just have to make them accessible um, throughout, you know, throughout your household, teach your kids how to make them. I know Maya has made the roller balls with her kids, they're six and 10, and they loved it. They loved the experience. So whoever buys an essential kit, um, you know, that is local to me. I always offer to go to their home to teach them how to use their oils because um, because once you get set up, they're they're pretty easy to do. Um, but we can do that virtually as well. So if you have any questions um, on anything that I covered, um, please drop it in here, and then we can talk about them next week. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. Bye. Bye.